You've probably seen this before. This is Richard Browning, founder of Gravity Industries and developer of the Iron Man-like jet suit. But this is like you've never seen him before, because he's not wearing his classic gas-guzzling rocket pack. This is an electric version they're calling the E-suit. Here's what Browning had to say about the new device. So the electric version is really, I suppose, a physical manifestation of our desire to constantly push the boundaries of what's possible. Honestly, 24 hours ago, it wasn't really achieving what we needed, and we've put our money where our mouth is and actually demonstrated it live to people. The gas-powered version has already been shown off in search and rescue operations as well as military exercises, able to reach speeds of up to 80 miles per hour, and has a yet unreached theoretical altitude limit of 12,000 feet. So this one still has a ways to go. But now, Browning says, that will mainly come down to batteries. The suit has... Um, enough power to run a small street of houses. It is phenomenal how much energy you need in a small form factor to get a human off the ground. Um, and it, it really just brings home how much energy you have in you know, gasoline or diesel or those fuels. You know, it is right on the margin of what's possible because of energy density and batteries. And yet we've actually managed to go and get it to work today.